In the world of WordPress, finding a suitable WordPress theme for your blog can be a total journey. I'm sure many of you guys watching this video have used some WordPress themes and thought to yourself, what is this? Don't worry, we have all been there. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys five different WordPress themes that I think you're gonna find really useful if you want to start or manage a blog. Now I'll be showing you guys three free themes and also two pro themes. I'll also be showing you guys the pro features of the free themes just in case you guys are interested. Now, the thing is when managing a blog, you want a theme that you can use on a daily basis that's not overly complicated, but at the same time, you want it to be rich in features. These themes meet that criteria. Now, some of these themes are for entry-level bloggers that just wanna get started with a blog and make something really quick. And other themes are for more advanced bloggers that want advanced features for their WordPress theme. And in case you guys are new here, what is up party people? My name is Daryl Wilson. Today in this video, I'll be showing you the top five best blogging themes for WordPress. And before we begin, if you guys do need help with web design inspiration, we currently offer more than 280 Elementor template kits. And that's a total of 1500 templates. We also offer 50 template kits for the Divi theme. We hired the best designers in the world to start this project and each kit has a minimum of 10 pages. And the best part, we add 10 template kits to our website every single month. We offer lifetime access for all of our kits plus future kits for just 99 bucks. I'll leave a link to all of our kits in the description of this video. And make sure to stay till the end because we always have honorable mentions near the end that didn't necessarily make the list, right? But they are still pretty useful for blogs. With that said, let's get started and let's show you guys the top five best blogging themes for WordPress. First up is the authentic theme. The authentic theme is a slick minimalist WordPress theme that comes with really robust features. Now, if you're using a page builder like Elementor and you wanna get on the bandwagon of using Gutenberg, this is the theme to start with. As you guys might know, I'm not a big fan of Gutenberg, but this theme adds elements that can propagate posts and pages that'll make using Gutenberg a breeze. The authentic theme primarily focuses on creating content with Gutenberg, and it comes with a variety of blocks and tools in order to streamline the process. So before you guys click off, hear me out. When you first install the authentic theme, you'll be required to install the various plugins. These plugins give the WordPress theme its functionality for your websites. There are add-ons that you guys can use for your website and you guys can turn these on and off as you please. One feature that I've always loved is the table of contents. This theme comes with a table of contents element that will display on all of your blog posts. Now the theme comes with 50 demos. Unfortunately, they just load blank pages like placeholders for your blog. At least that was my experience. Instead, the demos create the Gutenberg blocks in a specific color scheme and a topography. However, they do propagate posts and these posts look amazing. And you guys can simply use the format of these posts on your websites. What I also did was install a plugin that will generate dummy posts. And this gives you a better picture of how the theme demo will display on your websites. Essentially, they're just rearranging Gutenberg blocks to fit a specific style for your blog. The theme customizer comes with some pretty standard options. Layout settings where you can adjust the layout of your websites. They also give you topography options where you can adjust the topography in specific areas. In the topography options, you guys can change the topography for your heading text, for your menu, post content, and even your search form. The authentic theme has an interesting option called the additional content. This is essentially webhooks. If you're familiar with themes like Bloxy, you guys can add webhooks into specific areas before or after content. So in short, you guys can add more content before certain sections or after them. Now the part where this theme shines is the elements for the Gutenberg block editor. This theme uses a page builder called the Canvas Page Builder. And it's pretty simple. All you do is you add a post block, and this theme comes with 50 different styles on how to display your post using the block base editor. It's funny, the theme actually brags saying that there is a zero learning required because the blocks will pretty much propagate your entire page or post for you. As you guys can tell from the demo, there are tons of options to add social icons, share buttons, add video backgrounds. They even have a parallax effect options where you can add parallax effects to specific elements. The authentic theme gives you standard features like adding a sidebar to the left or right side or a narrow or full width option. It also offers various Gutenberg blocks. It offers progress bars, section heading, alerts, sidebars, sliders, galleries, and a lot more. The theme also offers a light and dark mode so your users can switch between light and dark mode at any time while reading your blog posts. It also has a really nice and slick way to display your social icons. You guys can actually add more followers for all of your social accounts, just in case you guys want to showcase larger social proof. Now the theme also comes with a really cool feature to review products. It comes with its own review option where you can add a review heading, description, and then add a total score at the bottom of your blog posts. 
Once you guys get the theme options down, there is a lot you can do with this theme. I spent about a day with this WordPress theme, and there is a slight learning curve due to the amount of options, but it's a solid WordPress theme with a variety of options if you guys decide to use the Gutenberg Page Builder. Here's a list of some demos that they have on their websites. As you guys can tell, the demos are really clean and modern. And keep in mind, this WordPress theme is only using Gutenberg and no other page builder. But I'll be very upfront. Some of the options were a bit confusing and I had to contact support, but after going back and forth, a lot of it made more sense. I would give this WordPress theme a solid eight out of 10. While the options are incredible, I do think they need to add more header options and make it a little bit more simplified in the theme customizer. The authentic theme is available on ThemeForce. It costs about $69, and this is a one-time payment for lifetime access. Next up, the Rishi theme. The Rishi theme is all around a good multi-purpose WordPress theme. The theme comes with a really interesting theme customizer that's really nicely organized. The Rishi theme comes with all the standard options for a basic website, like a header and footer builder, various post layouts, and some other additional extras like scroll to top. The Rishi theme allows you to fully customize the colors of your base fonts, your heading colors, it also offers topography options where you can adjust the H1 through H6 tag in the free version of this WordPress theme. In the free version, you guys can turn on cookie consent to comply with GDPR regulations. They also have a reading progress bar that you can customize. And lastly, social sharing, which is always useful. The blog page offers four different layouts. You can also hide or show the post elements and adjust the sidebar to the left side, the right side, or no sidebar. They also offer an infinite scroll in the free version of this WordPress theme. You can also adjust the block container to boxed or unboxed, and you can stretch the website out just in case you like that style. One thing to know about this theme for the post elements for your blog page or post page is you can click on each element and further customize every single element. The amount of customization you have in the free version of this WordPress theme is quite generous. What's really cool is you have the same options for the blog post options as you do for the archive page, author page, and search page. So once you learn how to style one section, you'll know how to style all of them. Next, let's talk about the single post page. With the single post page, you can adjust the post elements like you can on the blog page. You can also add a featured captured image to your single post, you can add a sidebar, and you can adjust the article to full width or full width centered. While I do like the post options, I do wish they had a little bit more layouts and design for the single post layouts. They also have some demos that you guys can use for the blog, but I didn't really see any that stood out out of the ordinary. However, the pro version of the Rishi theme is where the steam tends to shine. This is where they offer their advanced blogging features. And the advanced blogging features are actually quite interesting. When you purchase and install the Rishi Pro plugin, you'll get options for additional Pro extensions. You'll need to turn them on in the extension settings in order for them to display in the theme customizer. When you turn on the advanced features, you'll have tons of new options like disclosure, auto post, multiple authors, a news ticker, and a few other options. You'll need to go through each option and activate it in order for them to display. But some of these are actually really cool. They have a few different layouts and styles of how you can display each new feature in the theme customizer. They also have this new disclosure option, which allows you to show a disclosure at the top or the bottom of your post. They also have auto load posts, which is basically sort of infinite scroll. Multiple authors. This allows you to credit multiple authors for one blog post. They also have a news ticker option, which will display a news ticker on your blog post. And a really cool option I do like is the emoji reaction. This allows you to add emojis near the bottom of your blog post, and users can actually select the one they want to engage with your blog post. Another one I really liked was the quick summary, which gives you a quick summary of the article. The theme also comes with a built-in ad blocker, where the user will need to turn off their ad blocker in order to engage with the post. I like the fact that the Rishi theme offers unique features that I haven't really seen before on any other WordPress theme. Overall, the free version of this theme offers plenty, and it actually is worth upgrading. The pro version is actually fairly priced. You can get the pro plan for $149 for unlimited websites or get the agency plan for $299 and that's a lifetime deal. I would give this WordPress theme a solid 9 out of 10. Plus it offers many unique features in the pro version. Next up, Bloxy. How can we forget Bloxy? Bloxy is a well-known WordPress theme in the WordPress community. If you're on a budget and you want to start a blog, Bloxy is definitely a solid pick. The Bloxy theme comes with a standard header and footer builder allowing you to customize various parts of the websites. The Bloxy theme also comes with various fonts and colors, so you'll have no problem changing the color scheme or topography for your blog. 
The blogging features with Bloxy are pretty robust. You can choose up to six different layouts where you can adjust the columns for your pages and posts on your websites. The design options for displaying your blog posts are pretty well balanced. You do get a lot of flexibility on how you want to portray your blog posts. Next, let's talk about the single post. The single post has four basic post structures, narrow, normal width, left sidebar, and a right sidebar. You can also adjust the content area style and add spacing for your blog post. For each post, you can hide specific post elements or display them. Also, if you do turn an option on, you can click on the arrow for further customization for every element for your single post elements. You can adjust the featured image size and the position of it. You can change the share box to two different styles and also add a specific share networks to your share box. You can also pick between two different types for your author box. And lastly, at the bottom, you can turn on related posts and further design how you want that displayed at the bottom of your page. A noticeable feature is the Bloxy theme for the post reviews. This is great if you want to run review websites or review products for your blog. Overall, the free version has everything you need for a basic blog, and it gives you plenty of customization. Next, let's talk about the pro version with Bloxy. I hate to say, but this theme doesn't really give you much as far as the blog goes. Now, don't get me wrong, the pro version of Bloxy is good. You do get many options like advanced mega menu, more elements for your header and footer builder, white labeling, and WooCommerce extras. While these features are really cool for a website or e-commerce features, they don't really add much to your blog. The only thing worth mentioning in the pro version for a blog is the theme builder for your blog. This allows you to build a single post templates and archive pages using blocks. You can also set the display condition for each block within your post or archive pages. I think it is neat, but most people would be content with the layout given to them. Bloxy is definitely a solid WordPress theme, and for the free features it offers for blogging, it's a great starter theme to get started with your blog. I would give this theme a solid 9 out of 10 for blogging. The only reason why I couldn't make this higher is because they don't really offer much in the pro version for the blogging features. Hey party people, real quick, I just want to give you guys a quick heads up. If you guys do like a lot of these WordPress themes that we're showing you, we definitely recommend SiteGround Web Hosting. Now, SiteGround Web Hosting is among the fastest and the most reliable web hosting out there. Now, how do you guys know I'm not just lying to you, right? Well, we've actually tested SiteGround for the last six months. So here you'll see that we recorded the web host for SiteGround and we've only had 34 minutes of downtime over the course of six months with a 99.99% uptime, which is very good. Our sites also load at around 1.5 seconds with SiteGround. So you'll see the here that we're monitoring the entire test speed with SiteGround. So just to know that you guys will get a fast and reliable web host with SiteGround web hosting. Now, some of these themes actually require specific PHP levels and memory limits. With SiteGround, you can adjust the PHP and also the memory limits to accommodate a lot of these WordPress themes. Now there is a link to SiteGround in the description of this video. And if you guys do use our link to sign up with SiteGround, you guys will also get a free domain. Now SiteGround has three different plans and we always recommend the grow big plan because with this plan, you guys can host unlimited domains, which is a pretty big difference from just one single domain, right? So many of the themes that we showed you guys do require solid web hosting. So again, if you guys are using other host companies like Bluehost or uh, iPage, we definitely recommend to make the switch to SiteGround.com. And again, you guys can use our link in the description of this video and you will receive a free domain. With that said, let's jump back to the video. Next up is the JNews theme. The JNews is a giant when it comes to blogging WordPress themes. The JNews theme has everything, tons of demos, a large amount of features, including paywall and video popouts, table of contents, and a lot more. The JNews also comes with more than 150 demos that you guys can use for your WordPress websites. They work for magazine websites, general blogs, affiliate websites, and also news style websites. They also have some really exclusive layouts like a podcast layout and even a YouTube style blog where you can create your own YouTube. I'm actually really impressed that somehow a blogging theme can create a media website. What's also really helpful is that each of these demos have various home pages to choose from. This just makes the theme offer so much more for the user. Now let's talk about some features. The theme customizer offers a variety of options to enhance your blog. You'll be able to fully customize the page layouts, colors, and fonts on all parts of the website. You can also add like or dislike buttons to your posts, add a view counter that you can adjust to make your blog look viral, and even have pop-out videos as users scroll down your blog. The JNews theme also comes with its own custom header and footer builder. With this builder, you can fully customize the menu by dragging in elements to build your menu from the ground up. 
It also offers dark mode elements, social login elements, and even a language switcher that fully integrates with translation plugins. It also has a special tablet and phone builder that you can fully optimize separately from desktop versions. Next, let's talk about the page options. The page options for this theme are incredible. For each blog post, you can have a completely different header and post layout for each of your posts. You can simply pick from a template or you can custom build your own header templates using the page builder. This feature gives you full freedom to design any header you want for all of your blog posts. You can also choose from various post layouts that work in conjunction with the headers. You can also have share counters, view counters, videos, show or hide the author, show the reading time, and just tons of cool features that you can add or hide on your blog post. Next, you can enable reviews, which will turn your post into a review style post where you can add pros and cons, add rating text, and also add in price and insert your affiliate links. You can also use the fake counter option to override the settings to show specific views, shares, likes, or even dislikes on all of your posts. Another unique feature is the post split option, which allows you to split up your blog posts on multiple pages for easier reading. This helps not to overload the user with tons of text, but to create an easy reading experience. This will also lead to more page views, which will help you get more money for ad revenue because users are viewing more pages on your website. And lastly, my favorite feature is a table of contents elements. Here you can add your own table of contents elements before the blog post or even have it floating as the user scrolls. This creates an easy to navigate blog where if you have very long blog posts, your users can easily navigate to any part of your blog. This is a highly requested feature because most table of contents elements don't look natural and they often break and they're only available on outside widgets from plugins if you have a sidebar. Next, the custom post builder. Let's say you don't wanna use any of the templates that the theme offers. No problem, you can fully build your own post page from scratch that you can fully design and customize. You can create your own post templates, your own archive category templates, and even create your own author pages. You simply drag in the elements like the title, the content, the featured image, and everything dynamically updates to the posts on your new blog posts. Now we have barely scratched the surface, but let me talk about some other unique features that this theme offers. The paywall feature. You can lock your content and have users pay in order to see your content. They will have the option to either unlock only the article or they can subscribe to all of your articles on your website. You can also force users to subscribe to your blog instead if you don't want them to pay. This can lead you to building a large email list quite fast. The side feed. If you have a large website, you can create a side feed which will display specific posts, trending posts, or the most popular posts on your website. You can select which posts you want to display or even hide specific blog posts from the side feed. The side feed makes things really convenient and also very easy to navigate on your blog. Next up is interactive contents. I like to call this interactive content because this is where users can engage in your blog post. You'll have the option to add like buttons, dislike buttons, and even have recipe guides or tables on your blog. Here they can click a checklist and follow the steps on your blog to make things easier to follow on your blog. Elementor Elements. This theme offers tons of elements for the Elementor page builder, making it really easy and convenient to use. What I like most is the styles are very similar to all the elements. So once you learn how to use one element, you'll know how to pretty much use all the elements for this WordPress theme. Frontend Post Submissions. With this feature, you can allow other users to post articles on your blog. You can charge a fee and then allow users to log in on your website, upload their content, and then you can approve it and post it on your blog. This is great for guest blogging, which is getting more and more popular. This way you can have users pay you in order to submit content to your blog. So overall, I strongly believe this theme has everything you can possibly need for a blog. With the variety of options, you can make any type of blog you want, whether you're making a simple blog for yourself or you're making a massive news website with millions of readers, this theme is suitable for all type of blogs. I would give the J News theme a solid 10 out of 10. The JNews theme has everything you can possibly need for a blog. Next up, the Flocks theme. The Flocks theme is one of the most underrated WordPress themes on this entire list. When you first install the Flocks theme, you're greeted with this beautiful dashboard. You can access the theme customizer, check out their template kits, get access to tutorials, and also check the system status to make sure everything's running smoothly on your WordPress website. The Flocks theme offers various template kits that you can import on your website with one click. 
And I'll be honest, the template kits with the flox theme look really nice and there's definitely something for everybody. You can also import specific blocks and add them to your template library for your page builder. This theme is loaded with unique features. Let's first start with the general tab. First, Flox offers a lot of core basic features that most themes offer, like a header and footer builder that you can design and customize with Elementor, and it also offers page layouts for all of your pages. It also comes with a standard option where you can adjust all the colors on your websites, like the primary text, secondary text, basic text, and so on. The Flox theme also allows you to adjust the topography on your website through the H1 to H6 tag. And it gives you additional options to offer them on hover, which is pretty cool because some of the themes don't offer that. There are a lot more options in the theme customizer, but I have a whole nother video dedicated to that and I'll leave that in the description of this video. But for now, let's just focus on the blogging features. The Flox theme offers 10 unique styles for your blog page where you can choose various layouts for your blog. What makes the Flox theme so customizable is that for every blog template, there are even more additional features to customize that layout. For example, the timeline layouts. Once you select the timeline layouts, there are three additional more options on how you want to style the timeline. You can either have it to the center, to the left, or to the right. The theme options with Flox are pretty diverse. You can display the featured image, adjust the size, display your post info, display categories, a comment number, and so on. You can also adjust the load more type for the pagination for your blog. And then you can also adjust the blog sidebar. You can add the sidebar with six different styles, and it also includes a double sidebar for those of you who want something a little bit more unique. You can also choose the blog content to show as a full text, summary, or you can show specific characters for the excerpt. You also have the same options for the blog category and the tag pages, just in case you want to mix and match styles, or you can make them all consistent. It's really up to you. You can also choose to showcase a slider for your blog posts. You can use a default post slider, or you guys can go a step further and install the Master Slider plugin where the Flox theme does have an integration. This will allow you to showcase blog slides on your webpage. Next, let's talk about the actual single post templates. The single post template is very similar to the blog page. You can choose to have the sidebar on six different styles. You can also adjust the single post sidebar like on the blog page. You can also adjust the size for your single post where you can choose three different styles, default, medium, or narrow. The Flox theme does have a lot of unique options and they really get in the nitty gritty if you want to customize your blog. The only drawback here is that you cannot customize the exact size for your featured image like some other blogs allow you to. What's also cool is the Flox theme offers six different elements for the Elementor page builder. You guys can use these to display blog posts on your website. Unfortunately, the pro version of Flox doesn't really offer anything for the blog. It gives you the ability to create a new custom post type called news but it's just a simple custom post type that you can probably get with the free plugin. What's worse is once you use the news module, there is no way to customize the featured image. So you lose that feature, which doesn't make much sense to me. However, it does offer a news layout where you can use to create a new stylish blog. It is pretty cool, but you can probably get this for free with another free plugin. The free version of this WordPress theme is incredible. There's a lot you guys can do with it. However, I don't think upgrading to the pro makes much sense if you're gonna use this for a blog. I would give this WordPress theme a solid 8 out of 10. It's a free theme with tons of unique features. But adding more features for the blog in the pro version might help a bit. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed my list of the best blogging themes for WordPress. Now, we do have some honorable mentions here really quick. The first one is the Elementor Page Builder. Now, the Elementor Page Builder itself is not necessarily a WordPress theme, but you can build a whole blog with just Elementor. All you need is like a basic theme like Hello Elementor, and you can build an entire blog with the Elementor Page Builder. Many of the layouts that we sell on our websites, they only use Elementor, and we just use like the Hello Elementor theme. So if you guys do want to build a blog with just a solid page builder, you guys can definitely use the Elementor Page Builder. And the second honorable mention is the Divi theme. Now, don't get me wrong. Divi is a great theme, right? It has its own visual drag and drop page builder. It has a new update coming soon that's gonna make it very fast. Uh, it has tons of blogging features, but out of the box, Divi is not the best for blogging, right? You actually have to use the theme builder. The theme builder for Divi allows you to build a custom blog page, custom archive page, and custom post page from scratch using the theme builder. By doing so, you guys can create any type of single post template or blog template that you choose using the page builder. 
They also do offer various add-ons that you guys can use and purchase from their marketplace, just in case you want to enhance your blog. So I'll be honest, out of the box, Divi needs a little bit of work for the blog, but if you guys do use the theme builder, you guys can design the blog page and all those pages from scratch any which way you guys would like. So it's definitely worth checking out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments how I did. And if you guys do want to see any detailed reviews on any of these themes, let me know in the comments below. Until then, I will see all of you party people in the next video, guys. Take care.